Hi, Sean O'Kane here with Ship Estimate TV. We're here in the Global Foundry booth. My guest here is Srinivas Nuri, uh, Director of SOC Solutions with Global Foundries. Um, and what you're going to talk about is this particular chip that, that you have in collaboration, Global right. Foundries and Open Silicon. That's right. This interposer. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, uh, and you being one of the chief uh, architectural leaders, could okay. you talk a little bit about this and, and, and plus, and uh, then we'll go into the Best of Show Award because uh, it's all wrapped around here. Sure, absolutely. So, um, you know, what we are seeing here, let me first start off with uh, this chip here, right? So this silicon here that we're seeing has our Global Foundry's 28 SLP process-based chips. There are two of them, and then those two are assembled on a silicon interposer. Uh, if you, I don't know if you're able to see, if you zoom in, you, you're going to see this, mm -hmm. this shiny silver-colored uh, thing that's called the silicon interposer. That is also Global Foundry's uh, interposer, and that's on a 65 nanometer. Uh, and the idea here is that, you know, basically you can take a design, a logic design, and partition that into uh, multiple uh, die, mm -hmm. um, and, and on, a, on a logic partitioning basis. And the idea there is you don't need to use bleeding edge technology process for everything on your chip. So for the portions that need really high performance, you would basically use appropriate technology node like a 28 nanometer. Mm -hmm. And the portions that really don't need that kind of a uh, you know, performance capability, you could probably use something that is of a larger geometry node, like maybe 40 nanometer or 65 right. nanometer. I'm going to show you some examples. But the idea there is then, you know, you use what's appropriate, mm -hmm. so then it is cost effective. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, some of that IP is already proven in silicon. So you can reuse the silicon. Okay. So that's the concept. And so what we have here in this silicon here is each of the two dies has a dual core Cortex A9 mm -hmm. processor uh, implemented in 20 SLP. And they are communicating on the interposer. And the interposer itself is 65 nanometer with four layers of metal. Mm -hmm. And that enables us to stack these two in a two and a half D manner. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a DDR3 interface as well. This, uh, the RTL design, the chip implementation uh, is done by our partner collaboratively, Open Silicon. Right. And uh, the uh, interposer is uh, done together with our packaging, Global Foundry's packaging right. team. And, and we have basically assembled this, and now we have a board here that demonstrates. But a, a, essentially, there are two, two ASIC dies on this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's what that is. And, and what you're seeing here is, you know, so, so to show, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the next yeah. slide, if you don't mind, and, and try to show you the value proposition. So, in a silicon interposer, you can pair, you know, two dies or maybe multiple dies on an interposer. As you can see here, you know, you have an SOC with a memory. Yeah. These are two different dies, and that's the connections on the interposer. Here you have SOC with high-speed analog. It, this is a different pairing where SOC and some other logic are an FPGA. You can do multiple okay. permutations and combinations, right? That's the value proposition here. This particular one, as you know, is a good example for you, right? So if you take a 28 nanometer die, it has a CPU, and then it has the, some interfaces here, a custom acceleration logic, and this, can be mapped into three different dies. So there is a 28 nanometer with, which needs a high performance. Uh, the CPU can need to take advantage of the high performance and the low power of the 28 nanometer. Okay. That's one die. This custom acceleration probably doesn't need capabilities of 28, so it can be put in 40. And then all the interfaces, if they're already proven in 65, they're a different die. Right. right? So I think now we have three different dies and they're all interconnected on the silicon interposer. Okay. Here. That's what that is. Well, I thank you for the demonstration, and I, uh, I want to congratulate you on, a, on Best in Show, um, specific to the to the board and the chip, right? Yes. So uh, congratulations, and uh, I'm glad you had a, a good show here at ArmTechCon 2013. Thank you so much. All right. Yep. Take care.